I think for me, Duke was a gut decision. And I think really finding a college that not just will be able to teach you what you need to learn, but also make you feel at home is really important. And I had that at Duke, but I don't think I really completely felt it until I went to the Marine Lab. Um, they've become my new home. My physics class was six people, and my molecular biology class was four people. And for me, it's less about the material and more about getting like that close, intimate help with my professors that I probably needed. The former Dean of Trinity actually came to Bangalore and spoke to a bunch of potential applicants. And so I actually went and talked to her, and she asked me what I wanted to study, and so I said biology and English with pre-med. And she was like, wow, Duke is perfect for you, which was the first time I'd ever gotten a response like that, ever. Um, and during her presentation, she said something that really clicked with me. She is, I believe, an undergrad at Harvard, a grad school at U Chicago, and she was a former professor at Emory. And she said, Duke combines the tradition of a Harvard, the rigor of a U Chicago, and the warmth of an Emory. And that was something that really clicked with me just because I think that was important. I wanted a campus that would make me feel nurtured and have the warmth, but also have the rigor and prestige that Duke does have. I think one of the most beautiful parts of Duke is that the whole school can come together. And even if it's through a basketball game, you have people right now tenting for a month before a basketball game, and I've done it. Like, And it's one of the best experiences of my Duke career, and just really feeling like you aren't picking a school, but you are picking a part of your life.